So welcome everyone to this joining of A Course in Miracles group, Pathway to Peace group in Melbourne, Australia. We're joining today to go through the section of A Course in Miracles called I Need Do Nothing. And it's, um, we're joining to do it as a meditation. Jesus has instructions in this, in a lot of his words, he asks us to do things. He asks us to focus on things and to contemplate certain things as, as we read the course. So today we're going to even, with the reading of it, we're just going to focus on some of the things he asks us to do during this, during, um, in this particular section of the course <clears throat> so you're welcome to close your eyes and just sit and focus on my words and just really really relax really just allow all the thoughts to be still and just feel your fingers really relaxing. Wiggle your toes and feel them really effortless. And feel your toes being peaceful and relaxed and free. So let all the tension, any tension that you're holding in your body completely leave just feel it like moving out of your body and just feel you're sinking down into your chair or your bed or your couch just feel feel the connection of where your your body's connected to wherever it is you're sitting or lying and just feel the heaviness just feel that and then just also feel a lightness as everything leaves. So Holy Spirit, please direct my words, be in my mind. Speak through me today. Illuminate what needs to be said and when to be quiet. I put you in charge of this meditation. Our intention is to move into the mind of God, the mind of holiness, the mind that is unlimited, spacious and free. A mind that has only happiness, a quiet joy. And we're going to use this teaching from A Course in Miracles to access that. Amen. So I need do nothing. So I'm going to read this section um, and change around some words. So I'm just going to read it as a meditation. I still have too much faith in the body as a source of strength. What plans do I make that involve its comfort and protection or enjoyment in some way? This makes my body an end 
This makes my body an end for my comfort and protection and enjoyment and not a means. And this always means that I'm going to find sin or error still attractive. No one except the atonement for himself can still find sin as his goal. If I accept the atonement for myself, I can't possibly find the body's enjoyment and protection as, as, a, as, my, as the end, as my goal. If I have the goal of finding the body's protection and enjoyment as the end, as my goal, I can't be accepting the atonement for myself. If I am trying to get the body's protection and enjoyment as in my goal, I have not met my one responsibility. <clears throat> <clears throat> my one responsibility is to accept the atonement for myself. So the atonement is not welcomed by me if I prefer pain and destruction. When I focus my mind on my body's pleasures and pains. I don't welcome the atonement. I have made much progress and I'm really trying to, to still make more. But there is one thing I haven't done. Not for one instant have I utterly forgotten the body? It has faded at times from my sight, but it has not yet completely, completely disappeared. I am not asked to let this happen for more than an instant. But in this instant, the miracle of atonement happens. Afterwards, I will see the body again, but never quite the same. And every instant that I spend without the awareness of it gives me a different view of it when I return. So just for now, I'd like to do this meditation in quietness where we try to completely forget the body. So I'm just going to be quiet for a few minutes. And I want you just to try to completely forget the body.
Okay, so just remain um, quiet. <clears throat> And I'll just read on. I just hope everyone can hear me. At no single instant does the body exist at all. It, all. it is always remembered or anticipated, but never experienced just now. Only its past and future make it seem real Time controls it entirely, for sin is never present. In any single instant, the attraction of guilt would be experienced as pain and nothing else and would be avoided. It has no attraction now. Its whole attraction is imaginary and therefore must be thought of from the past or in the future. It is impossible to accept a holy instant without reservation unless just, sorry, for just an instant you are willing to see no past or future. You cannot prepare for it without placing it in the future. Release is given you the instant you desire it. So what I'd like to do now is once again enter the holy instant which is in our minds where I'll just read this uh, line again. It is impossible to accept a holy instant without reservation, unless for just an in instant, you are willing to see no past or future. Release is given you the instant you desire it. So just say, I desire the holy instant, I desire to enter the holy instant where there is no past or no future. I accept the holy instant without reservation. I accept it now. I desire it with all my heart. Let's go into a little quiet time where we just say to the Holy Spirit, I desire with every part of my being the holy instant where there is no past or no future. And let's enter into that holy instant.
Okay, so I'm just going to speak a little bit. I'm going to summarise the next sec next little part of the of what he says in the course. He tells us that we can spend many years in contemplation or in meditation. But he says the course, his course, is about using relationships to awaken. To awakening is I may do nothing. <clears throat> It's not about, it's part of this I need do nothing is an aspect of the body because the body is the thing that does things. So when we hear the teaching, I need do nothing, he's pointing to us that there's nothing. There's nothing that my body needs to do for me to be my true self. that the body's doings, whatever the body does, it will never bring about happiness if I focus my mind on what the body has to do or is doing, its desires, its pleasures and pain, any idol that I give, any, any meaning I give to the body's movements. The body doesn't exist as its own being, it's always remembered. So I'm being guided by Jesus that its doings is not going to bring me happiness. So I have to withdraw this idea of success or something that the body does that brings happiness. So I need do nothing withdraws my attention from the body's doings back into the mind, the quiet, center within. So we are going to be using our relationships, particularly a holy relationship as a means for awakening. And that can be any relationship and all relationships. He says here, your way will be different. He's talking about, he has just talked about 
um, people that minds that have their way as meditation and contemplation. Our way is different. He's bringing this course in to save time. Your way will be different, not in purpose, but in means. So the purpose is to be free in our mind and he's going to use different means. He's not going to use hours and hours of meditation and contemplation. Those ways will work, but he's bringing us a new way. A holy relationship is a means of saving time. He's going to get us to focus in on our relationships and get us to come into a holy relationship. So the means is to come from specialness to holiness, a holy relationship where we use the Holy Spirit to interpret the relationship. One instant spent together restores the universe to both of you. <clears throat> now you need but remember, you need do nothing. It would be far more profitable now merely to concentrate on this than to consider what you should do. I need do nothing is a statement of allegiance, a truly undivided loyalty. Leave it for just in one instant and you will accomplish more than is given to a century of contemplation or a struggle against temptation. To do anything involves the body. So this I need do nothing is telling us to withdraw our ideas and thoughts about that the body needs to do something for us to awaken. To do anything involves the body and if you recognise you need do nothing, you have withdrawn the body's value from your mind. Here is the quick and open door through which you slip past centuries of effort and escape from time. This is the way in which sin loses all attraction right now. For here is time denied and past and future gone. Who need do nothing has no need for time. So no need for time means I don't need the past to inform me of what I need to do and I don't need to concern myself with the future. I don't need to worry about what my body needs to do. So I withdraw my mind from all the body concerns and I just enter the holy instant. I withdraw my mind from my body. I, I go more and more into a centre in my mind that is not holding the body as important or as me. To do nothing is to rest and make a place within you where the activity of the body ceases to demand attention. Into this place the Holy Spirit comes and there abides.
So when my body ceases to demand attention, where the activity of the body ceases to demand attention, I'm going to rest. And the Holy Spirit will come into my mind and abide. He will remain when I forget. And when the body's activities return to occupy my conscious mind. But there will always be this place of rest in which I can return. And I will be more aware of this quiet centre in which I can return. where the storm has gone and what is and all the raging activity of my mind is quietened this quiet center in which you do nothing will remain with you giving you rest in the midst of every busy doing on which you are sent. From this centre, will you be directed how to use the body seamlessly? In this quiet centre from which the body is absent, This will be in my awareness as I go about doing what I need to do, directed by the one that will direct me, what I need to use the body for. To use the body sinlessly is just to give the body over to the Holy Spirit. So focusing on the words, the quiet centre. This is where the holy instant is, quiet centre. So let's just have a few minutes of silence now entering this quiet centre where the body's activities are gone, where past and future thoughts about the body have got, are gone, they're not present. I'm just going to enter this, what might seem like an emptiness, empty of the body, empty of thoughts. And just for a few minutes, just, just allow our mind to be completely empty. And enter the quiet, quiet, quiet centre.
Okay. Um, I was just thinking I could sit in that place all day long. <laughs> so quiet. <laughs> we're to bring that quiet centre with us wherever we go. Just bring it out, just so you can feel that deep, deep peace sinking. It's just so, so beautiful. And just to bring that quiet, quiet, deep centre where, where the mind has just got no interest in the body's doings. <laughs> <laughs> its interest is just joining with that beautiful peace and love and that's God the peace and love is God it's it's that quiet joy and that peace that's the, the peace of God so thank you everyone for joining and thank you for being willing to show up and join me today and um, I'll be doing another one tomorrow morning at the same time so I'll put up the details in the group of what it's about and you know thank you everyone I, I hope you had some little experience of of that deep peace and forgetting the body, just I need you nothing. Love you. Kate, do you have five minutes to talk to me? Yeah, sure. I'll just finish this meditation. I've just turned it off and so it re finishes a recording. Okay. Bye.